Should we talk some Gold Cup? Mm. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, the U.S. taking on St. Kitts and Nevis last night, and um, it was a shellacking. Six-nil win for the United States. Um, B.J. Callahan did put out a little bit of a different lineup. We, none of you guys nailed it in our lineups that we put out mm. yesterday. Mm. But Thanks, there were Susanna. some. I know. I just wanted to point it out. <laughs> Who got also, the most nobody right? got the scores correct. I think I, I'm, I may have been up there. You may you have were, gotten the most. I think correct. I was the closest. Did you have Did you have Busio I, in I there? I didn't. We, have Busio. we both had Busio. Nobody, nobody had Sean Busio. Johnson. Nobody had Sean Johnson. Yeah, you couldn't. No. Okay, I, I missed four is what I know. <laughs> yeah. But I, I was the closest to the score line. I feel like you guys totally overestimated St. Kitts and Nevis. I think I, I probably underestimated I mean, USM and MNT going into this really? game. I, yeah, I was looking for a reaction, mm -hmm. and boy, did they deliver it. You, know, yeah. you, you, you kind of hedge your bets, and I, I went a little bit lower, way lower. I'm conservative 2-0 is what I said. So we saw Jesus Ferreira with a hat trick. We, Georgie Mihailovic had a great Oof, game. Two incredible. goals, two assists yeah. for him, and he was one of our players to watch. Michael, what did you like about his performance yesterday? I liked that he had the sort of composure, the creative spark that this U.S. men's national team we have not seen consistently enough except for Gio Reyna. Typically, in the years past, we've seen the U.S. M&T play with three midfielders, three flat, and it's Weston McKinney who provides that offensive mm. spark for them. But now Jordi Mihaljevic, he's bringing what he did in Europe with Azed Alkmar to the men's national team. The first goal times his run to perfection. Busio, who we have to give some love to, mm -hmm. cuts it back perfectly. But you have to get more numbers in the box. Three or four people at a time getting in the box for the U.S. men's national team. Jordi Mihaljevic, always in there. Look, I, I take this game this win with a grain of salt it's a wash and on mm -hmm. to the next one mm -hmm. um it's a great confidence booster but you can't draw big time conclusions from this game look at the rival the stat that i liked the best that was repeated constantly was that this is the most populous nation in the region against the least populous nation in the region. Mm -hmm. And it was, in Spanish, there's a great term for this. I don't know if they use it in, 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 in soccer and English, but uh, it's a sparring. Uh, it, it, it's a scrimmage, mm. honestly. Um, in, in the Gold Cup, in the group stage, there is very weak opposition. And this is, with all respect to St. Kitts and Nevis, this is the weakest of the weak. And the United States winning 6-0 is an expected so it's result. What they did what they should have they done. They did what they should have done, and but it's on to the next. And, and Give a little yeah. bit of respect to the U.S. who for didn't do what they were supposed to do in the first game. Yeah. And I think that's why mm. for them to reach yeah. the level of what we expect is a positive because they certainly did not do that. Sure. So, I think that's having a low bar for... for this group of U.S. I disagree. Yeah. Different coach, think, different players. This is a C I'll, group. I'll, I'll split both of you in saying I agree with you in terms of standards. This is the biggest team in sure. CONCACAF right now. They are the kings of CONCACAF given recent results. But the flowers I want to give to you are the players that came off the bench in the first game, seizing the opportunity for the likes of a Brian Reynolds mm -hmm. getting his first goal and an emphatic finish that For I can't sure. wait to break down. Gianluca Busio, who had been out in the cold with the men's national team, putting that performance. Jordi Mihaljevic, a lot of players having statement games in a game that they needed to and should have. So I agree with both of you. Yeah. I, to me, like, yes, I, I agree. I, and, and they deserve credit because, of course, they're going out and, and performing in an international tournament. But... I don't know if St. Kitts and Nevis is a statement game. That's a strong word for a team that's so weak. And, and, and don't, I don't want you guys to misconstrue mm. me taking a lot of virtue from this win that's for the United States. That's kind of my States. job is to misconstrue. <laughs> so, but so. we need to be realistic with, with the opposition. If, yeah. they had, if they had done this against this Jamaica team that's extraordinarily hyped right now at the moment, and, and they came in and they played a really good game, that's a statement game to, to get start that. off, but it's, it's St. Kitts it and Nevis a, to, to beat uh, these players. They, they probably aren't all professional, you know, mm. and and the way that they played, it, it's it was the closest you can get to a scrimmage in a professional setting, and you know, if it wasn't for the goalkeeper, it would have been much more, many more goals. Okay. So yeah. it's just it's like okay, great for these guys, good. Let's move on to the next. St I want to see these statement games in a mm -hmm. semifinal, sure. and a final. So, but, it's a, but the game that happened, give them a little bit of credit. So, I am. And, the, I am. and here's a here's a question then. So the players that did emerge in this game, that did have good games, the Georgie Mihailovic, mm -hmm. the Jungle Busio, Busio, Busio Brian, Reynolds. Reynolds. Brian Reynolds. Did they do enough Cowell. in this game, despite it being a, a scrimmage that you? that you say, did they do enough to kind of make a case for them to earn more minutes later on so. in this tournament? 
it's, it, I, Anybody that would have played in this game would have made a case for themselves. No, that's moment. not true. Yeah. You put players in. And you're, you, honestly, now that's a little disrespectful to, to St. Kitts mm. and Nevis. It, it, you put a player in and you expect them to play to a certain standard. When they hit that standard, you give them credit. To see these players connect, to see these mm. uh, players. I'm not sitting here saying, based on this, we can expect uh, you know, that they're the champions. But you put a player in, you say, here's what I need from you. I need XYZ. And they hit XYZ, you give them credit for it. Brian Reynolds uh, did, did, did nothing to show that he doesn't deserve extra minutes. Mm -hmm. No one that. went in and failed. Had someone came in and failed or looked badly, then I could say, oh, man, it's against St. Kitts and Nevis. I think it would have been but very you, difficult to fail in mm -hmm. this game. The United Again. States quality all around the pitch, Alexis, from every single person on the squad is light years you above the like quality from St. Kitts and Nevis. St. Kitts and Nevis showed up in potato and, but, and I'm not saying, look, and, and if you want to repeat the same team in the next game, you repeat it. We're, we're, we're not getting carried away with saying that the U.S. men's national team, yeah. because they beat St. Kitts and Nevis, are going to win the Gold Cup outright. And I, I, I wholeheartedly agree with you. Yeah. That's why I say I agree with both of right. you in this, that you're both making statements. The vibe statements. of the show is you should pick one of us. Well, I, I'm <laughs> definitely <laughs> picking one. I'm going to my left my here. My Because you can only play who's in front of you. I right. think if we look Agreed. at when Mexico plays teams, and they hammer them. Yeah. And we don't say the same thing. In this aspect of, oh man, well, Mexico should have beaten them. Let's not. We say, holy moly, this Mexico team are flying on all cylinders. This is a U.S. men's national team mm -hmm. that a lot of these players have never played together. Yeah. And now, I agree with you in this sentiment. Now we will find out what the resolve of this group is going to be in the next match against the TNT side that got three goals against St. Kitts, and they are the whipping boys of this group. Make no mistake about that. But now we will see. I think a Brian Reynolds should start in the next game. I think a Jordi Agreed. Mihaljevic should start in the next game. This is the lineup I wanted to see, closer to the lineup closer I wanted to, to see against I Jamaica. Wanna, can I ask about uh, Jesus Ferreira, who put away three goals in, in this mm. game. How important was this for his confidence, oh, Michael? Massive. This reminds me of, I'm going to go back a year ago, around this time in Austin. I got to be there for the CONCACAF Nations League. Grenada were the opponents. U.S. men's national team put an absolute clinic. Jesus Ferreira, four goals that night, and each goal taken really well. Almost deja vu in him streaking in, using his pace, and slotting in finishes. These are the type of performances you want. You want competition within your group between he and Brandon Vasquez. No. I still put Brandon Vasquez as the lead striker, though. Mm -hmm. I think Brandon Vasquez has shown more, but the one thing I do like is the midfield was finding uh, Jesus Ferreira getting in behind the line. And that little bit of a connection, maybe figuring out what the look is Jesus gives you before he makes that run off the shoulder, or what is that call that says, go ahead, send a pass. I'm going to get to it and I'm going to score. That connection is important. So moving forward, if that continues and Jesus Ferreira is the starting striker, at least we're starting to see the, the bond building with the midfield, which yeah. is super important mm -hmm. if you're a striker. How'd your boy uh, James Sands do? Uh, incredible we get again. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, honestly, against such a strong uh, nation. <laughs> Uh, it's really important to play well. I can, I can see your eye twitching there. You I, gotta, no, I, have a, I have a question for yeah. Nico. Do you think that this group right here could take on St. Kitts and Nevis? Because by the way you're talking about them, no. it right? kind of seems no. like The no. disrespect he's no. giving them. Now, that, I, that, now that's play. disrespectful. That's right. disrespectful. You haven't seen me play. Yeah. I don't know. It's so, but just you can that. assume how bad I am. What's your position in that game mm -hmm. against St. Kitts and Nevis, knowing that it's a weakened opponent? Which position are you putting yourself in? What, He's uh, a goal. Me as a player? Yeah. Like, where am I would going? You, would, you, would you just say, you know what, I can get goals even though not? I you, mean, would you just put yourself like, up? I'm top? amateur. Like, I'm, I don't even think I could. Could I possibly score against St. Kitts and Nevis? Like, for example, I don't know. Like, I'd, I'd be a net. I think I, I think I could do a decent job in net. in net. How many saves did Sean Johnson have yesterday? Probably zero. Um, yeah. Don't really remember, but. The zoo can't score in the gym. No, you think I mean, score? I, I, I don't want to be disrespectful to I think it's a need. More, you mean more that, disrespectful. You, know? you, for, you missed no. the word more. <laughs> no, I wasn't being more. disrespectful. Regardless, it was an important win. I was being win. realistic, but the US... putting me in the lineup is, that's disrespectful. Okay.